Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25300, which is released to the dev channel. Starting with this build, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build. Talking about what's new in this build, Microsoft is introducing live captions in more languages. Live captions helps everyone and people who are deaf, or hard of hearing read live captions in their native language. The first release of live captions in the Windows 11. 2022 update provided captions in English, with a focus on English, United States. In this build, Live Captions gains the ability to also provide captions in Chinese, simplified in traditional, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Brazil, Spanish and other English dialects. Later more languages will be added. Moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements, for Snap Layouts, Microsoft is trying out different treatments for Snap Layouts, with Windows Insiders in the dev channel. Microsoft is investigating ways to improve the discoverability, and usage of the snap layouts such as decreasing the hover time required to invoke the flyout, when you mouse over the maximum slash restore button in an app's title bar. In addition to a few other tweaks, you'll notice some treatments will also pull in the icon of the app window you are working in and adding a descriptive title. For voice typing, the change to sync voice typing settings, automatic punctuation, and voice typing launcher, across all devices signed and using the same Microsoft account, that began rolling out with build, 25227 is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. You can toggle this feature via settings, accounts, Windows backup, remember my preferences then accessibility. This currently only works with Microsoft accounts today with the AD support coming later. For settings, updated settings, apps, startup to make it easier to access more information about the apps listed. Also, right clicking on a Win32 app and start, or searching for the app, and choosing uninstall will now take you to the settings to uninstall the app. For WSL, or Windows Subsystem for Linux, improved the upgrade experience to the new Windows Subsystem for Linux Store app, so it now prompts for installation if WSL.exe is invoked. Now, moving forward, and talking about the fixes in this build, in general, fix the underlying issue related to combase.dll, causing crashes with multiple apps using get known folder APIs after upgrading to build, 25290, including Notepad and Windows Terminal for EMA users. This issue is also believed to be the root cause of some insiders finding that certain actions in File Explorer were taking minutes to complete in these builds. Fix the issue causing rendering issues and difficulty using Windows Recovery Environment, WinRe. Fixed an issue where some users experienced issues authenticating into enterprise websites that require Windows integrated authentication. For taskbar and system tray, the ability to show seconds in the clock on the system tray, first introduced with build, 25247, should return after updating to build, 25300 if it had disappeared for you after updating to build, 25295 last week. Fixed an issue that was causing the taskbar to be cut off after resolution changes. Fixed an issue where hovering over app icons on the taskbar could switch window focus unexpectedly. For widgets, as a result of fixing the issue causing third-party widgets to get unpinned, when signed in with a Microsoft account across multiple Windows 11 devices, the most recent widgets update in the dev channel will unpin third-party widgets. Insiders will need to go back to their widgets board and rape in these widgets again. Also, the link for find more widgets in the widgets picker currently is no longer broken and will point to the store collection here. For input, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a fix for an issue, where the IME candidate window, and IME toolbar weren't shown or cropped sometimes. For File Explorer, drag and drop files and folders across tabs should work again. For Task Manager, process names typed into the search box should no longer unexpectedly get spell checker. Fixed a couple of issues with how the narrator was reading out content in Task Manager. Fixed an issue where the dropdowns and settings might not match your currently selected theme. When using search on the app history page, results should no longer suddenly disappear. If you open the default start page dropdown and settings, clicking the task manager window should make the dropdown disappear now. Dragging the window using the search box area should work now, like other areas of the title bar. Fixed an issue where ending processes in the details tab wasn't showing a confirmation dialog. Increasing the text scaling should no longer result in a see more button appearing with no contents. If you do a search and then press the down arrow, keyboard focus should now move from the search box into the results. If you have a contrast theme enabled and select one of the rows in the processes page, that row should now show that it's selected. 
fixed an issue where focus might not get set properly to search, leading to narrator not saying that focus was on the search box. For other fixes, fixed an issue where narrator's focus wasn't going back to the quick settings window correctly when using the back button on the cast page. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.